they're actually in the the city of Sarum, which is the Salisbury Castle, is there. And um, you're all there. How you know each other, and you're all um, sworn to Sir Roderick, the Earl of Salisbury. So you guys can figure out how you know each other, but. Right. So, um, so as a, so I, I've enlisted, I've become a, a, a knight under Sir Roderick, which is in, you know, the county over, because after the battle, they didn't need so many knights around. So, um, let's see, anything else? Um, Coat of arms is a, a a rabbit on a blue background with the green embroider or whatever they call it uh, around the edge. Border a green border embroidered. I don't think it's embroidered, but it's, there's a certain name for it. And see anything else? Um. Oh, uh, my squire is Daniel. Daniel. And your horse? Uh, I don't name my horses. But what do you call him when when they bring him to you? Your charger. Bring me my charger. <laughs> call him charger. My charger. You're gonna get a name, Felipe. No matter what you say. Oh, I gotta give a name. No. Either you can give it or somebody else will. Who's the all seeing eye? That's that's Saul's alter ego. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, I should give it a Christian name since I'm a pagan. (laughs) (laughs) Call it Jonah. How about Jonah? Huh? Jonah. Jonah? Okay. My charger, Jonah. So, so far, Mr. Jones, Mr. Sheehan Jones, oh, we have... distinctive features. Uh, I tend to be tight-lipped. Tight-lipped. Uh, and physical features are blonde hair, blue eyes with a full beard. Almost, almost Saxon-like. I hate not. Saxons. I hate Saxons too. Yes, we have a we have a passion of hating Saxons. <laughs> you have a passion of hating something, Saul? Saxons, Saxons, of course. Saxons? Yeah. Bastards. Sir Lath- L- Lathan? Lathan. Lathan Fallium. Tell us about yourself. Oh, I don't know about all that. Um, oh, yeah. Um, I am a young, unproven knight. I'm just like the, uh, I don't know. I don't know what son I am, but I'm uh, kind of independent. I have a winning smile. I am, I am well read and I sing. And um, let's see. My squire's name is William. Um, I don't see where that goes on the sheet, though. Um, uh, my uh, I like my horse over there. Uh, are say. you are you from Salisbury? I don't know. Is that a, is that a pick thing or is that a roll randomly thing? I don't Am know. I a local? I don't um, know. How did everybody else decide that? Uh, the, the the rules say that normally everybody is from uh, Salisbury. And I am. I'm from Salisbury Hill. No, Salisbury is an actual uh, castle. County. County. And a county. County. And a county. I've seen it on the map. Where is it right in the, the middle. Right in the middle. Yeah. I got all Felipe's right in my name. Felipe's tiger is right in the way. I'm trying to remember how to turn off the uh, pictures. Um, you go to the gear. Is it graphics? You go to audio video. 
then video display says video clear video avatar size that's just the names perfect yeah salisbury right in the middle there um i'm from salisbury you got to say you're from a certain manner around salisbury and i'm from sal oh, i'd pick like stonehenge or hambury or something like that grovelty uh there's some that you just i don't think those are the actual those are big ones you're supposed to be from a manor which is a a little location let me see it's okay. he can fill it in later he can figure that out I'm later from salisbury That's hill that. there you go the manor of salisbury hill i like that idea actually a lot i don't um i don't why don't you like it <laughs> what's wrong with that um, local. I'm a younger son of a nobleman. I guess. Tell me how to make the the, the, the little pictures just words. Oh, he said gear. Go down to audio video. Expand that one, uh, and then there's two tabs: audio video chat and video display. Click on video display, and you set the drop down to names only. Thank you. Because uh, I just repeated what Saul told us. So that's great. I'm from Salisbury here. I'm the oh, younger God. son. I'm kind of a, uh, I would say I'm kind of a happy go lucky ish kind of a guy. There you go. Really? Oh, that's nice. Are these the actual places in Salisbury? Manners, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm from Pitton. I'm from Pitton right in here. Pitton. Um, and Sarum, the one right, right in the middle there, that is where Salisbury Castle is. Okay, so don't be from there. Um, manor, pick a manor. You can't be. Oh, yeah. You can't be from Salisbury's Castle because Roderick is there. You can't have to be the Lord. That yet. Give him a second, guys. Roll a d twenty. I'll tell you where you're from. All right, I will. Where's the roll twenty? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's viewing Felipe's screen. Oh, that's pretty good, Felipe. Well done. Um, roll 20, d20. I will let fate take its way with me. Oh, okay. 10. 10. You're from Steeple Langford. Steeple that's Langford. Over... Stapleford? No, the next oh, right above that. Steeple Langford. Steeple Langford. Oh, yeah, it's right above it. Okay, to the left. And where were you from, Saul? I'm from uh, Edmonton, right above. Uh, it's, I don't know. Oh, it's right over here by the river. By the uh, river, I uh, guess it's the river. It's above sure. Pinton above a little bit. Winter Dooney. Winter. Oh, here, here. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 me. Oh. Excellent area to raise horses or breed horses. Uh, things are happening say. here. Exit full screen. Okay. Who's sharing the screen? Do, 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 audio test speaker. I just no. Oh, I just I don't know what it's doing now. I don't think we'll need that anymore. Oh, let me get my was Control A. So all of you this morning, this glorious day, have been outside um, Sarum. Well, Sarum is a city. I'm going to show you the picture if I can do it here. The, oh, you guys aren't there because I didn't move you. Players. So the castle of Salisbury is in the middle of the big mound there. That's just the what it looks like today. It's called Sarum. Old, well, they call it Old Sarum now, but then it was just Sarum. And it had the, if I move the screen over, or if you guys look to the left, I guess, I kind of tried to make it look 
get a picture that kind of showed it. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm tapping it. Mm -hmm. I know what it looks like in there. The green mound? Well, the, on the, uh, next to the green mound, go to the left mm -hmm. on your screen. Yeah, I see it. So this is kind of what the, the, the city of, of Sarum is. It's your home base. It's, um, it's a mound. It's this widespread mound in the midst of Salisbury Plain. Um, the castle is on one side. I can't really mm -hmm. tell from that recreation, but in the middle, there's a training area. Um, and that's where you guys are. You're out training some of the training, the squires and training with other knights and stuff. So that's where you're starting. Back, back over here. So, um, do you know each other? Uh, I think uh, my idea is that yes, at least the very at the very least, I probably know. Uh, I forgot his name already. What's your name, Felipe? Dwye. Can you put it on your little? Green on Zoom, Dwye. Sir Dwye, because he lives kind of close, he might have uh, bought a couple horses from my father uh, years ago, or his father might have bought some horses. Uh, if uh, uh, Latham, 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 Sir Latham uh, cares about horses, he might have come to our stables and picked out a nice stallion for his war horse. But if he's not into horses, then he probably wouldn't. Uh, but uh, my uh, my father's horse uh, horse uh, stables are known throughout Salisbury as some of the finest breed of horses for knights, yes, and yes. highly prized by anybody who needs a trustful steed to ride on. So, Sir Lath Lathan, Latham. Um, what's your horse's name? Your charger's name? William or something like that. That's his squire, love. Oh. Sorry. You're muted, Mike. Closed, closed all the doors. You're muted, Mike. Sorry, you were echoing me. I was echoing myself. Mike is still muted. I think he's frozen. Is he frozen? No, no, he I is. Can't. He is in that pose, uh, very still. Computer's contemplating something. No, oh, he's moving. I see his head move. Oh, he's, he's, he's back in the shed. Back in the shed. Back in the shed. Oh, there. I can see him now. I don't think he's listening to us. Oh, he just, he's logged in again. Ah. Uh... Hello? 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 Yes. Oh, I had to Why? switch to the computer. There's two of you now. Yeah, I'll kill the other one. Um, I just got a new computer, and for some reason, the speaker just went out. Uh oh. Um, I just leave this. We'll figure that out later. And I don't know what happened there. That was weird. Uh, we were. We. I wanted to know what the name of your horse was. Uh, the name of my horse. Charger. Charger. Um, that's Felipe's horse's name. No, it's Jonah. He said, "My charger, oh, yeah, Jonah." Jonah. All right. He's the old fashioned. And um, medieval. That way I don't get too attached because 
That's a joke. I'm not going to kill anybody's horses. I just wanted you to name them. Morel. Morel. M O R E L. <laughs> It'd be double L. But I'm not going to quibble. I'm not going to quibble. Mr. No Strange and Dr. Morel? Oh, yeah. Strange and Morel. Actually, it's it Norel. Moreau. Was it Moreau? Moreau? No, it's Norel. But... How is your morning going training the squires? Practicing with the squires, helping them to become knights. It's entertaining. I'm drinking while I'm doing it, so there you go. Uh, we, mainly we concentrate on horse riding, so uh, there's a lot of horse riding, you know, uh, like we go when we go to the rent fair, there's those little rings that you, you know, you clink with the spear when doing the spear and chucking at the target kind of thing while riding a horse. Mainly, that's where we're at. I Me see. and Martin. 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 <laughs> Martin with the M. Ian. Ian. Martin. Oh, Martin. sure. Anything Martin. that makes you stop saying Martin. So. Martin. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we'll call him Matrum. So you don't like Fluffy's uh, sidekick? Uh, no. I mean, I, don't, I, I have no. You don't know who Fluffy is? He has no yes, he does. I do know who, who, who Fluffy is. I have no opinion <laughs> either way. That's not why you named that character Martin? Not even close. Oh. Okay, so um, your squire, Daniel, Sir Dway, Dway? Is that how you say it? I Dway? have no idea, but that's what was on the came up. Okay. On the random Dwight, generator. Dwight. Dwight. Your, um, your squire, um, Daniel, comes running up to you and says, uh, uh, Sir, uh, you've been um, summoned to, the Countess wants to see you. You and, and Sir Garam and uh, Sir Leighton. Ah, it's important. I should clean up probably beforehand. Uh, I would think so, sir. You're always telling me I have to get clean. Very good. So I go get cleaned up first. Uh, sir Daniel Daniel comes up to each of you and tells you the same thing. Sir Garen and uh, Sir. That's not my squire, right? No. no. Oh, okay. Uh okay. As I'm riding past, uh I kick one leg over the saddle and as a, as a, as the horse comes to a halt, I just slide off the saddle and go onto my two feet on one side. You need to do a roll of some sort to do that without falling down. All right. Sure. Ask him. Yes, he my... does. Wants to look cool. I'll do my horseman check. Oh, look at that, baby. That's what you call a sweet success. Thank you very much. So he so... comes off, his hair is flying. What color is your hair? Black or... Black, long. no Saxon blood in my veins, lady. Is it is it long and flowing? Ah, uh, no, it's cut the... short. It's cut short, like, uh, kind of like a Prince Valiant cut. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. So once you land, Daniel is suitably impressed. Yes, and then uh, I tell Martin uh, to uh. Uh, water and uh, and and uh, Groom. brush off the horses. Groom, you're not you're not there. Uh, brush the horses, and then I I uh, I the horse goes to my squire and and he grabs him by the bridle and heads him off to the stables. All right, uh, what was your name again, Squire? Squire Daniel, sir. Daniel, so so. Uh, I have to the, go tell Sir Latham. Will you oh, please excuse you better, me? You should have told him first. It takes him forever to get ready. So I, I'll I will just, try to remember that there. I'll just splash some water on my face and you know, wet my hair a little bit, you know, brush it back and head into the Sir Jaren. To the to wherever I need to be. By your leave. Yes. Go ahead. Brush off, Daniel. Bit of patter. Relate them, relate them. 
have yes, an urgent, yes. urgent uh, request from Lady. Got her name already. Ellen. Ellen. Oh, did I forget that? Yeah. They. She requests your audience. Post haste. Ah. And thank you for coming and getting me, Daniel. Nathaniel. Uh, Daniels. Hey, Squire hey. Daniel. Squire Daniel. Um. I am squire to uh, Sir Dwayai. Sir who am I? Dwayai. Dwayai? <laughs> Dwayai. <laughs> Sir Dwayai. Yes, uh, yes, he is. Dwayai. His, his, herald, his heraldry is the the rabbit on, on a blue uh, background. The rabbit. Got you. Um, is oh, that a hair? A hair. Okay. Yeah. It is a hair. Okay. Uh, that's the hair that bit me. Uh, Certainly, thank you very much. Uh, do you have any idea what this is about, Sir Daniel or Squire Daniel? No, no, not at all. I was just set uh, to to page you all. What is the uh, mood of the uh, lady, if I may ask? Was he was told by Daniel was told by a uh, underservant that he needed to get you. He doesn't know the mood of the lady. Uh, does it seem like an urgent issue? Uh, Daniel, it does. Uh, very good, Daniel. A job well done. I give him a ducat or whatever, a little coin. Shilling. A shilling. A shilling. A shilling. And I will I go out of that, clean then, myself Daniel. up and make myself, of course, reasonably presentable. Rugged yet handsome, if you will. I won't. So each of you are, are making yourselves, well, except for Sir Ger Aaron, who just splashed some water on his face and went over to the to the keep. The, yeah, uh, hasn't even put on a shirt yet. So I still have my armor on, so my chain shirt. Uh, but I don't have any weapons. So you are a knight, right? Yeah, I am a knight. You knighted and me you last year. You know how year. to present yourself in front of a lady, uh, the countess of the castle. Yeah, you have I don't been know. Here for a while. So would it be rude for me to show up in my chain mail? Uh, probably. Okay, then I'll I'll do whatever the social norms dictate that I should do. I oh. thought I had, you wanted us to be there quickly. How high is your courtesy? There you go, spouting numbers to me. I didn't, I didn't spout any numbers. I just said how high. Just you could say not very high, very low. Uh, I'm right down the middle, buddy. Down the middle. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, if it didn't give us any numbers, we assume we're right down the middle on the thing. Correct. I believe what? is what it's no. Okay. No, because courtesy is a skill. It's not uh, a it's not a trait. Sir, courtesy is something we can learn, sir. Uh what? Garen, you have a 10 in courtesy. Yes. Which you is have some experience with it. And you should know how to por comport yourself. Yeah, that's what I said. I mean, it depends. I'm trying to figure out wh wh where the balance is. Should I go there right away and show that I'm uh, I'm at her beck and call? Should I get dressed up and and splash some rose water on me and make sure I don't uh, smell like horse? What do you think? What does yeah. Sir Garen think? Are does you Sir asking? Should I roll? Asking? I'm asking the GM. Oh, is she asking me to roll. Is that what you're saying? Uh, no. You don't have to roll, but um, just as a as an aside, um, the Earl Roderick always wants his knights when they present themselves in front of his wife to be at their best and uh, all. Well, there you go. Then I already know that. So the, I'll go into my tent and and uh, wash off any sweat and stank and get some nice good clean linen. There and change you go. my. Take off my chain armor. Put on my nice clothes, my ruffy, my ruffled shirt. Now, oh, that's a good question. Uh, are we there for a tourney? Are we there for, or because we were about to go into battle? Or are we there because he wants us all to train together? He wants everybody to be training together right now. Okay. How long have we been here? A couple of months. A couple of months? Holy yeah. crap. I got so things to tend to. I'll tell Sir Roderick, hey, you got to 
expect this. Of, you know, I got I got things to do. I'm, I'm not gonna... sure you would tell Sir Roderick that. But if you wish to. I'm just. I'm just. I just. I think you're Lord of your manor of <laughs> Idistrum or Idistrum, whatever it was. Idmiston. Idmiston, but. Uh... I am the Lord of the Manor. Oh, that's right. We all are. We got things to take care of, but I'm sure Roderick, Sir Roderick, would understand that and would only ask us to stay if we were of utmost importance. So I'm, 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 I'll be there late because I'm, I'm the one that's the dirtiest already. So is everybody? Everybody is going to be dressed nicely, um, mm -hmm. uh, and then you're going. Is that the plan? Yes, that's my plan. Yes. Okay. We get cleaned up. I get cleaned up as quickly as I can, of well, course. Cleaned up. You haven't been doing anything. Presentable. You haven't been doing anything. You've been sitting on your arse all day drinking wine. Um. How? Oh, anyway, you're, I don't think you're actually together. You're you're getting dressed, right? I know. I know. So late in the little time that I know him here, he's a layabout. Little time? Three months? <laughs> A what? couple of months. I think you know him quite well. And we've been at we've been at court since we were kids here. That's true. Come on, not here. Yeah, here. I was brought up in Silchester. Yeah. Whatever, it's foreigner. <laughs> well, you're here now. I'm, I'm a Simric, just like you. Uh, all yeah, of you have made your way to the Great Hall, off to the side of the Great Hall. Is the the sitting air the sitting room that um, the Countess um, Ellen greets people and holds court court so to speak. So all of you have made your way in there and are are you gonna in front before you can, you don't just walk in. There are two two um, guards standing outside the door. So there I'll you have are. I'll have my squire to the guards that I am here. I tell the guards, uh, I, I am here at the request of Lady Ellen. Please allow me in, or when she's ready. And um, you're here with uh, Sir Garen and uh, Sir Lathan? No, I beat him here for first. I was told first. Lathan. I'm last. Unless, we, unless we're planning to get there at the same time. I swagger in. Okay. Swagger in behind me. Yeah. So once you're all there, um, once we're all once there, the, once yes. the guard, well, the guard goes, one guard goes in and and says something and opens the door and says and and like gestures to the other guard and he says, "Okay, the um the countess is ready to see you now." Once we're all there the together. Door. Yes. Okay. Okay. Walk in, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Um, would you, would any of you like to greet the Countess? I will. First, I'll wait to okay. see if Sir Gruyere is going to go ahead and say anything because I don't want to step on dry, dry A? Whoever, Dry A, Gruyere, whatever. What, dry A? Well, the, the, neither one of those is the name of the characters. One is Garen, and the other one's Dry A. Sir Dwyer, there you go. There's just a salster on the thing there. How am I supposed to know? Okay, Sir Dwyer, I'll wait for Sir Dwyer because he likes to go first. Lady Ellen, I am here. I am Sir Dwyer, and I have brought along the others that you've asked for. Oh. And I'll, I'll step I forward. Hope your your day has gone well. He goes talking over you. He goes talking. When he says the the two you've asked for, I'm gonna smile wryly. It's like really. <laughs> and I'll step forward and say, Sir Garen, at your service, Lady Ellen, and I'll bow to her. Yes, I bow. I bow. And I'll take a step back. <laughs> okay. Please have a seat. Um, would you like some tea? We were just about to, my ladies and I were just about to have some tea. Oh, ladies are there, huh? Ooh. Ladies in waiting? Oh, yeah, you can't be, you can't be visiting by yourself. Ah, oh, forget. Sorry. Okay, so. Uh, Why, of course, your hospitality is uh, greatly under, uh, 
devastated. I'll, 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 take, I'll take a chair. I think. I think, yes. Greatly understated. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, no tea for me. Thank you. I'm sorry? I'll, 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 ask, I'll say, oh, is this? And I'll try to identify the kind that it is. I'll say, oh, what kind are you drinking? It's um, it's Earl Grey. Oh, Earl Grey. He makes the best teas. Okay. Okay. Uh, I will. I guess I shouldn't say no. So now that I think about you it, you already said no. You already said no. no, no. no. <laughs> I'm assuming that you wouldn't actually tell the lady no because it is hospitality, and you would want. You to. said no. Okay, you're right. You're right, GM. I will uh, concede that I'm in mis- the player made a mistake, and I will. Uh, I will gladly uh, take what is given to me, offered offered me. What do you think of the tea, sir? Uh, you? I looked over at the call, sir. Sir Garen, change your name on the Zoom, so or on it, the, is uh, on Zoom. it is on Zoom. It is on Zoom. Not on Zoom on the uh, roll twenty it's on Zoom. I'll oh. change my name on the Zoom too. Sir Garen, got you. That's fine. fine, fine, That's fine. Yeah, as big, long as I know yeah. it's on Zoom. Yeah, big Bebe. Oh yeah, you're right. Sure. It's, it's all sir. All right, there we go. I like that you put your name in parentheses just in case we didn't know it was you. Sir Garen, call. Oh. I know how you guys are. Okay. All right. Okay, so, so you're all enjoying your tea? What do you think of Earl Grey's tea, uh, Sir Garen? Do you find oh, the undertones to your liking? About a, I don't know about undertones, but I do know that it is, it is quite delicious. And I smile at you and give you a dirty look. Without Lady Ellen seeing me. This is delicious, Lady Ellen. I notice you're doing the three minutes steepage these days. That's very I'll be right back. I just heard a noise. I want to see what that was. That's how Friday the 13th stop. started. She's going to go down into the basement. Don't do it. You have basements in California. You know that. Oh, okay. Very good. Actually, people do have basements. Real old houses do. Before they were worried about the earthquake so much. Yep. They didn't have earthquakes back then, you think? No, they just started. Hmm. They, all these prehistorical earthquakes that they talk about, that's just made up science. No, no, no. But like, like it's a lot of Victorians in Salinas, like the, where the lakes lived, they had, a, they had a basement. Yeah, but they had short memories back then. They didn't know that, so, like, oh, 5,000 years ago an earthquake happened. Or, it had to be 5,000 years ago. It had to be like, you know. Oh, that's be cute hair. I, I like your that. dancing hair. Yeah, that's pretty happy, nice. Happy, happy. I like that. It says hoppy. Oh, oh fine, hoppy. <laughs> I don't think that's a real. That would be really. Drummer. I would like to thank all of you for coming. Um, I'm sorry to interrupt your training of the squires, but I know it's very important to my husband. But I have a request of the three of you. So. I have this family heirloom. It's an amulet. And it doesn't mean too much to other people, but to me, it means a lot. Um, <clears throat> it might have little magical quality to it. At least that's what I was told when my mother gave it to me. Um, I don't know exactly what happened to it, but my um, Lady Nilla, who you all know, um, as one of the, the ladies who, one of my ladies in waiting who's been staying here oh, with yeah, us. Oh, yeah, I know Lady Nilla. Yes, yes. Um, she has had to, she needed to take a trip to the um, the Ansbury Abbey and so that she could contemplate a couple of the proposals that she's been given. And she was here in the drawing room with me and um, admiring my, my amulet and we were talking and um, Sir Berenger or Berengar, who I know that you have known, um, you know, he's a northerner, but he's been helping. He, you know, my husband thinks that we should take him in as a as a knight and and he seems a little uncouth to me, but but knights, you know, have to it's it's hard the chivalry part of it. I, I understand this. 
I hate to say it, but he was here because I was asking him to take Lady Nilla to the Abbey and he was looking at my amulet. And so I handed it to him and, and was explaining to, to him that it came from my mother and he was walking around and looking at it and telling me how beautiful it was. And then we were talking to Lady Nilla about the trip they were getting ready for. I hate to think of this, but I cannot find it anywhere. So I am not sure if it was taken um, by Sir Berenger, but it is a possibility. Um, and my maid, who you should ask, her name is Bridget. She, or, or bride, as, as they call her, she says, well, he says that she heard him say that that would be the perfect magic to take with him. I don't know what that means, but that's what she heard. You can question her if you would like. Um, and I know this might be asking a lot, but I was hoping that the three of you could take a party and go and to the abbey and see if Lady Nilla or Sir Erringer know where my amulet is. Maybe one of them accidentally took it with them because they were looking at it? Why, of course, uh, Lady Ellen. It seems that possibly the, he may have absentmindedly put it in his pocket or so. Yes, yes, I, that's what I think. But it's best to check all all possible. Uh, it, it may have been something else that might have happened to it, but uh, but like you said, it was the last time you saw it or yes, remember yes. seeing it. Um, yes, yes. Um, do we? Uh, oh, are you willing to do this? Um, player two. TM, do do we know where Sir Berenger is? He was the one that is he was escorting Lady Nilla to um Amsbury Abbey. Amsbury. Oh, okay. Sorry. That's right. She said that. Okay. How, how long ago did they leave? Uh they left um two days ago. Oh and okay. it was yesterday when um I discovered that my amulet was missing. Um you feel free to to question my maid and i know um um father tiwi also he's the priest here um i'm sure you've you've met him he was here also during that time um in my study and you can ask him what he thinks if you would like before you before you go try to find it hmm. Hmm. Ainsbury is only a third of a day away travel, a third of a day travel away. Yes, hmm. yes, it is. We'll it's solve very this close. for you, my lady. Oh, thank you, thank you. As you're as you're talking, um, Earl Roderick walks into the room and he says, uh, he sees you, he says, well met. Um, well met, sir. My lord. Uh, yes, yes. Um, I think that um, uh, has my wife asked you to do her um, bidding for her? Yes, she has requested uh, our service. I would ask you to, if you do find her amulet, to bring it back and make sure that justice is is done, if it has been taken. We'll of course deal with this in the most. Uh... Just, just manner, my lord, and do what we can to make sure that all parties are, um, you know, the situation is as handled as delicately as possible. And trust that we will meet your expectation. Oh, thank you, thank you. I, I knew you would. Um, um, Helen, we need to go. We are expected. Oh, so she says, oh, yes, my lord, and um, just thank you, thank you. Um, you. I appreciate this. Please, as soon as you find it, bring it back. And they leave so, the room. 
Dwaya, where should we start? Well, we must travel to Amesbury. Oh, yes, the 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 lady. Yes, the, 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 the maid. maid is there in the building. As yes. is Father Tweet or Father Tweet? Pee 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 E W I. Pee Yes, of course. Father, are you the priest or the priest? Okay. The Christian priest. E E W I. Pee Pee Let's go, Tui. Okay. Tui. Uh, where first? Lead on. Okay. Go find the Tui. I'll go find the me. So you're separating? No, we'll go to Tui first. We'll all be there. It'll probably be best, at least with this part. We're off to Father Tiwi. Um, so the guard tells you that Father Tiwi is um, probably enjoying a snack in the kitchen. Ah, perfect. We might be able to see the maid as well. Yes. So are you three knights going to go to the kitchen? Oh, yeah, we'll wander down that way. Yes. Um, when you get to the kitchen, there it's a, a busy kitchen. There's uh, about three cooks, a whole bunch of spit toys and folk preparing vegetables, two chefs, two chefs if you will, um, running around trying to get the, the noon meal ready. And um, you see Father Tiwi is a uh, is wearing his um, his robes and his little hat. He likes to wear the hat, even though he's just a priest. Um, and he has his cross on and on, and he's sitting, eating a bowl of, uh, it looks like porridge, and talking to one of the kitchen um, staff. What are you going to do? Well, we'll approach him, right? Uh, say, uh, hi there. What's his name? Tiwi? T-E-W-I. Tiwi. So, Father Tiwi, we have a... Uh, uh, is the kitchen, like, a lot of people in here? I just said that. Oh, okay. Well, I go, uh, sir, sir. I said, uh, uh, Father Tiwi, we would like... Uh, I'd like to talk to you about a, a matter that is, is of some delicate matter. Uh, yes, yes. What is your question? And I, I assure him to a out of this room, out of the kitchen, into a. Oh no, he's not moving. He's eating his porridge. Uh, well, I I look around and I'm like, uh, it is a very delicate matter that concerns, and I and I get really close to him. He says. I say Lady Ellen, and she wants to keep it a private matter. Oh, you mean uh, her no, amulet no, is no, missing? No, 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 something else? Yes, something that shouldn't be talked about in. Oh, well, Bride was right there. She's over there. Bride, Bride, come over here. Can you tell me? Okay, um... I'll, I'll, I'll step between him and Bride is her name. And I go, oh, thank you, Father. And I will uh, usher uh, the lady uh, out of the room. I want me and uh, uh, Sir Dwight and Sir Latham will wish to ask you a few questions, if you wouldn't mind, uh, right? Uh, okay. I give her a reassuring smile. Um, is there something you can roll to tell me if you reassure her? Uh, well... I know it's one of my things is I have a reassuring smile. Oh, there you go. Or a winning smile, I should say. So. Oh, well, then you don't have to roll because you smiled and she's like, oh, okay. okay. Father, are you going to come with us? Because uh, he's, he's there too. He's busy eating and we'll question him after he's finished eating. Oh, no, no. It is not appropriate for... I shall go with Bride. 
she will be much more comfortable if I am there. Good idea, Father. You are a wise man. And I roll my eyes at the two other. And I, I kind of smile back at him. Anyway, so we'll try to find a quiet room uh, area of this uh, large castle manor. There's, there's not very many quiet places here because you're in the, in the kitchen and the great hall area. Right, so we're trying to go somewhere, find a room that's not being utilized as much as the Step moment. outside. Sure, that'll work. Okay. So you step outside but, the kitchen door. Sure. Okay. And get removed away from the from the most people, and then we'll basically I, I will will surround bride and the father wherever that may be. Okay. Uh, and I look at the uh, Sir Dwayne. Yes. Uh. Go ahead. Oh. Who are you? Bride. Lady Bride. Were you, uh... Were you there when, uh... Lady Ellen was, uh... With, uh, Sir... Bra Brand... 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 Uh, Beringer? Beringer. Um, I wasn't there, but I heard... But from, well, his uh, his squire was telling me that he is really trying to find something to take the magical to a sorcerer so that he can become immortal. I know that sounds crazy, Father, and I know that that's I I I. She crosses herself and she says, "I would never believe such such things." That's what he was saying. And, mm. and so when my lady said that her amulet was miss missing, and I know it holds up, uh, it was blessed by a saint or has some sort of magical power in it, I thought for sure he said he, him and Lady Nilla were there. So I, I believe that he must have taken it. That's what I told my lady. And mm. uh, what, what do you know of... Uh... Oh, who's the lady that he took or accompanied to uh, Ainsbury? Oh, Lady Nilla. Lady Nilla has been proposed to by three different knights. And she's trying to decide, well, to be completely honest, she's trying to decide which one is going to be the best to set her up in the, the best manner. But she is told... Um, the Countess, Countess Ellen, that she needs time to contemplate on this. Personally, I think she's just looking for who's going to give her the biggest amount of money. Her father has a pretty big dowry so to give out, so it shouldn't be too hard for her to decide. She's just, you know, seeing who's going to come up with the best offer. At hmm. least that's my personal opinion. And how do you think uh, Lady Nilla and Sir Brandon uh, uh, Radiger, uh, to have any? Have they seen? Have they been? Are they well? Uh, I say Good well pointed? met. Well met. I mean, have they engaged in any conversation that you've noticed? No, I do not believe so because the countess picked him specifically, Sir Berenger, because. And Lady Nilla didn't know him, and he is a bit of an outsider, so he wouldn't be able to influence her on who she's supposed to choose. My lady thinks that she really needs to go to the convent and stay there for a while. She sent a letter with her telling the abbess that, just so she might be able to think about what she really wants. I see. Well, what's your opinion of uh, the Beringer? Oh, I didn't see him. I only saw his squire. Oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, and what did what what did you think of his squire? Well, his squire is very handsome. He's oh, he like is. two years older than me, and he is just to die for. He's like fourteen. Yes. Ah, what squire? What's Berenger's squire's name? His name is. 
Ethelfield. 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 Okay. So Sir Berenger Squire is handsome and to die for. Ah, yes. Well, if you happen to hear anything else, I might be able to mention your what? name to Sir Berenger Squire Hetzelville. Ethelfield. Ethelfield. When you um when you go and you get the amulet back, you can tell um Ethelfield that anytime he can he can come. There's plenty of work here at the castle. Okay, and I will I will be sure to mention that. Uh is this a lady? What what is it? What is the official title for a maid? She's a maid. She's actually she's like a 14-year-old girl. Right. So what is what is we wouldn't say lady, so what do you um, really say to a maid? Uh, young young maid. Young lady or young or I or they just call her bride. Okay. And so and Hetzelfield is like 16? Yeah. Okay. He's got long blonde hair and blue eyes. Oh, yeah. Saxon. Saxon blood, huh? I, think oh, I don't know about Saxons. that. They're blonde. Well, it is jealousy rearing its ugly green head there, Sagarin? No. Truth. Anyway, uh, so you didn't really see anything. You just heard the squire talking. I was talking to the squire. Right. I'm sure. He and some of the other maids. Talking. Um, what, other maids other was, what other maids? Oh, Sally and, and um, I think it was that girl called Chelsea. Um, you know, it was it was just in the evening during the evening meals where all the servants eat. Mm. Who do you think your major competition is? Oh, I don't have any competition. Excellent. Excellent. You will be a worthy opponent for this uh Hilso field. The father just, just shakes his head. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, oh, it's the games of the heart, my friends. Come now. They're as old as anything. Do not put in a young lady's head such ideas, Sir Latham. The ideas they don't are, need. The, they don't need any encouragement in that realm. The battle plan is there. I simply admire the strategies. You would. <laughs> Do you have any other questions or can I go back? I need to how help. How long has Sir Berenger and the Squire, how long have they been in uh, Salisbury? Uh, since um, his his Lord the Earl called all of you knights here to practice before, in case the king or, you know, um, I forget what his name is, the great Lord calls on you all to go and fight somebody. So probably about two months, same as you. When you were called here. Very good. Well, good luck in your uh, campaign. I will do whatever I can do, of course, to uh, to help you out. If you know, let me know if you hear anything else as well. Oh yes, then please, please find my lady's amulet and bring it back to her. We will do our best. That is our almost goal. Thank you. He looks at the father, bows a little bit, and runs right. away. The so father, Tiwi, uh, do you agree with uh, the maid's uh, estimation of the situation? You seem well, to have a piercing eye and a clear mind. Um, I cannot really listen to the maids. I mean, they know everything, but they are not always as Christian as they should be and don't always do everything the way that they're supposed to. But I met this Sir Berenger, Berengar, 
And you know what? You no, know, not all knights are Christian. And it could be so that he's trying to use some evil pagan magic to um, make himself immortal, like like she said. Oh. Not all pagan magic is evil, Father. Oh, it's okay, son. I know. I know. <laughs> I can give you all a blessing if you would like before you head off on your journey. Well, of course, take your blessing, Father. And I'm the first one down on one knee. I have no need. But thank you all the less. I understand. I understand, my son. I am practically pious um, from me to you, Jolene. It's uh, like, sure. <laughs> that's great. Uh, so off the off of the uh, out of character, um, and when I was reading the book, a blessing is the same thing as pagan magic, just more subtle. Mm -hmm. the, the priests bless you. The Christians bless people. That's part of their magic versus mm. pagan magic. So, just so you all know that. Okay. Uh, Sir Garen, are you yes. ready to have your blessing? Yes, I'll just bow my head. I won't go to no knee or anything. I thought you were a Christian. Yeah. How much Sir is Garen. your Christianity? Come, Sir Garen. How much is my Christianity? Your faith or whatever. The uh, humble man prostrates himself before God, Sir see, Garen. Look at my, my. You're a Roman Christian, even. A Roman Christian, yes. So, if if the is that father, one of our traits over there? So, yeah, under religion, I don't know. Philippe is pagan. You, I don't think you've chosen yet, Mike. Again, I um, have not. What are the advantages of each? That just, I. It's just role playing. Do you want to be a pagan? Yeah. I'll be Christian. Okay. No. And to be honest, I am very Christian. So, um, is there a a spiritual world? Oh, Saul is ten and ten. So, yeah. is there some kind of faith thing? Uh, I, I'm guessing the way I feel right now because my spiritual, my worldly is kind of even. Uh, I really don't like this Father TV. He seems to dabble in this idea that there's absolutely no evidence that Sir Baroner did anything and yet simply by his countenance or his look uh, he is being deemed uh, He did meet Sir Berenger and he knows he's a northerner and he knows that he is a pagan and um, it's just his Pagans are all liars and thoughts. thieves <laughs> he is a father, a, a, a priest of the Christian God, so there you go. Okay, well, okay. I, I, is, is he expecting me to go on a knee? So in match, uh, he or... doesn't care. He could care less. So I'll just, I'll he just bow. His, he, he takes it. He, he, one of, he, he makes a, a sign, and one of the altar boys that's out there, and an altar boy, uh, maybe a, a stable hand, Brings him a cup of water and he dips his his little cross in it and he throws the water on all three of you and he says, you know, this is the blessing. God is going to protect you. May, uh, you know, have a good journey. Good. Have a good journey. <laughs> a safe journey. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Father. We'll see you when we get back. Hey, we'll talk about you yourselves side, for Father. just a moment. And I go make sure my mom's okay. Okay. Hmm. Well, we got some leads. It could be a number of people. So, how shall we approach Sir Berenger? That's a big uh, question. That's a good question. So, do we know who Sir Berenger is, or Berenger? I don't think what, we really do. Of... He's a northerner. He's in town. He's he, a pagan. Yep, he dabbles. He's pagan. Uh, that's Should really we tough. be just forthright and just uh, ask him straight up? Did he steal it, or or is it in his possession? Should we be sly about it? Oh well, I mean, how honest are we? I think I think we go either. I can go either way, and yeah. 
Jade is a. Uh, or, or I don't want to. I don't want to unjustly accuse an innocent man and you know have to apologize. Defend anyone's honor. Yeah, that's true. Definitely don't. I agree with Sir Lath Latham on that one. We are knights. We're all equal rank, I suppose. What 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 level of training is Sir Berenger? I mean, does he look knight worthy? Are you gonna make your decision by how knight worthy he is? Your opponent how is? How tough he is? Uh, 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 oh, she's back. Sorry, I dropped my papers earlier, so everything is all over the place. I can't read without my glasses. Um, he is 32. Um, he's got brown hair, brown eyes. Um, he's from the north. He's got an ugly facial scar. And and or wounds possibly and, uh, and he he has a hard time sleeping and anytime you look at him you see a haunted look in his eye that's that's interesting so uh let's just see how how he is when we get there i mean that's is he overweight does or is he really frail looking or is he no. just the standard knight look in he terms looks like of a strength? Knight. Okay. Standard knight. All right. So he's he's proven his worth, like a true knight of the realm. Well, we'll just have to decide when we get there. Uh, yes, we could uh, take a look upon his person and see how he purports himself, and then we'll make it. We'll continue from there. Okay. So. Um, you have a plan of when you're going to leave. It's probably around uh, one o'clock or twelve thirty. They are getting ready to serve the lunch or the you know the mid the meal. meal. Mid and um, so you can let me know. It takes about Felipe's right. I had it written down. I I think I had to figure out that map. Figure out that it was a third of the day. So about oh. what. So let's just leave now. Right, that way we'll be yeah. on a road to um, Amesbury Abbey. Now, he was just supposed to take some lady there and not necessarily going to stay there. Uh, just accompany her, yes. Yeah. And who knows her. if he actually stayed there? Her. Yeah, so he might not have stayed. So if you look on the map, you're, you're right here. And you're going to go up to here. Amesbury Abbey is right there where the little cross and circle is. I don't know if you guys can see yeah, it or we not. See it. That's it. Yeah, we're in Sarum. Yep. Yep. I say we leave. We leave now. That way we can make it there way before the sun goes down. Let's have our squires uh, grab just a, a few treats to eat along the way. Yeah, good idea. And ready the horses. Daniel, go to the kitchen and grab us. Uh, uh, something to eat along the way. Okay. Uh, something get travel the horses, worthy. Get the horses ready for us to travel there, Mar 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 Martin. <laughs> you were going to say Martin. Say <laughs> Martin! Right, we ride. You know what to do. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to grab some coffee while we travel. Okay. Okay, uh, a little soon too as fast we, travel, I guess. As soon as we all get uh, ready and saddled and everything, we head out. Okay, so um, I just want to know what you're you're gonna get your squires, your horses, your right. your kit. Like, what you're gonna like? You're you're gonna want to take your swords, or are you just gonna go without them? No, no hell we're no. fully armored. We're going out ninety. Okay. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm well just we don't. Sure. I'm not wearing my armor, but my my 
my uh all right you're gonna take your armor with you or you're gonna leave yeah. your armor behind no no we'll take it we'll do okay. it we're always ready we're well, prepared. We're right. yes yes <clears throat> but i and do then... dress in appropriate daytime clothes yes yes okay okay um do you guys want to take a break too while felipe's getting coffee uh, uh, good, sure. yeah. that sounds good i'll be right back okay. all, all right. right 10 minutes He'll be right back, Felipe. Okay, okay. I have a question for you. What? So I was watching a, um, one of the actual plays this week, and when they traveled, but they were traveling through the forest, they did like a huntsman, hunter check or hunting check. Mm -hmm. But somebody said something about when you travel, you're supposed to roll to see if you encounter things, but I couldn't find find it, or I wasn't sure if that was like, a different game, or I think there is. It's more for not necessarily things on the road, unless okay, the unless the GM wants something to happen along the road, so have an encounter. Yeah, but that's you know. I think that's kind of up to you if you want to do something like that. That's what I thought. I just wanted to make. I just wanted to check since it's a, a well-traveled road. I don't think it's. A... Right, there's not like going to be any knights challenging on the road. For, yeah, it's only a five miles away. I mean, it's possible, but not likely. Not likely, so close to, especially so close to the castle and right. all the the knights. And there's probably knights out patrolling too, which I assume would be part of the the training, right? Right. When I was um, looking, when I was working on the adventure. I was um, looking for the magic section in the 5.2 book, and I was like, okay. What I was watching, there was there was all kinds of magic and stuff. And then I was telling, I saw that I read on Reddit that they put the magic, there wasn't magic in the first three, and then they put it into four, and then it disappeared in five because they didn't, because... Um, yeah, because Greg didn't really want it in there. Yeah. You didn't think it... it, it it. it wasn't the focus of the Pendragon game. Yeah, yeah. It, it, that was interesting. It, well, if you read his uh, um, writer's notes at the end, he, he was pressured uh, by GMs to, to come up with a magic uh, system. Yeah. I like really... it. I, I, I like the way that this one has it. That, you know, there, everybody at this time believes there's magic, one kind of magic or another. You don't really know what it is, so uh, whether you're a pagan, a pagan or a Christian, at this particular time period, you know, if you, you know, if the comet comes by, you're gonna think it's a bad omen and that kind of thing. I like that. So I asked all the Mike when you went to get your coffee, when you're when you get your when you have everything brought to you for your trip, are you taking your armor and all that with you? Mm-hmm. Figured. Want to make sure. Oh, my war gear. Yeah. I think that's why you have everybody has so many horses. Knights have so many horses, so they have a horse to ride. They have their charger. They have someone for their squire to ride, and then they have like a they don't call it a pack horse, but Sumter. It is a pack horse. Mostly a squire normally rides a sumter. Probably. Yeah. But I'm letting mine ride a round sea. A round sea. <laughs> yeah, I have four horses, so usually it's I ride the first round sea, he rides the second, and then there's a sumter that carries the stuff. Yep. And the war horses. Just take this in case. Just in case, just in case we're taking our war horses. So, um, I, s I do. It says that, uh, you know, like, the Lord normally uh, provides an extra sumter for your war gear. Yeah. So would this be the case? Sure. Okay. Well, we had, like, three horses or something. We're a whole retinue. Yes. Yes, you are. Um, I have so William sing us a song. 
Hey. What song does he sing you? Uh, he sings a song of his homeland. Um, I'll tell you right now the name of the song that he sings. Just a moment, please. <sighs> He sings us the song, Lonely is the Night. There you go. There you go. So, my next question is, for when it says a third of a day, how many hours is that? Oh. Uh, that would be a, uh, what? Is four, that a four hours. Day, four hours. Four hours. Four hours, okay. So if you guys get your provisions, the, the squires get the provisions, they get the horses, they get all your gear. I'm gonna say that's gonna take them about an hour to get everything together before you can get out the gate. So you're gonna leave around 1.30. So do they um, need to make a squiring roll? No. no they they don't. Don't Unless you stuff. really want them to. No. They know um, how to do that stuff. There's no need to roll for something they know how to do. And um as I was discussing with Felipe, it's a road. So I do not believe that unless you really, really want to have an encounter of some sort on the road five miles there's probably other nights around here you're all been called here so i don't think the bandits are really into attacking knights in this five mile stretch well, they could if we're, they look we look weak yeah i don't know but I'm, I'm the bandits that. usually uh hide near tracks through forests and wildlands in general yes. So I believe that your ride is going to be uneventful, and you shall arrive at the Abbey around 5.30. And it is, it's, is it, uh, I, I will just say that it's summertime, so it's light outside. Okay. You arrive at the gates, what do you do? Oh, let me show you a picture of the Abbey. How old is your character, Sir Lathan? 21. Oh. I've been a knight for a while, but I'm unproven at this point. Oh, it's a nice abbey. So this is the actual modern day abbey there, or church there. I forget what it's called. Um, in Amsbury. And, uh, but this is it was it was a, a stone building back then also. I'm pretty sure it's been it's not the original because that was a long time ago, so I'm sure they had to replace some stuff. But that's pretty much what it looks like. Uh, and when you do get to the abbey and you're standing outside the gates, you see this and there is um there's a couple I wouldn't really call them guards, I'd call them more like gate watchers sitting mm -hmm. there. And they ask you, What are you doing here? We have come to visit with Sir Berenger. Ooh. We have urgent uh, business with him. I do not Sir. know who he is, but I can ask the abbess. He came uh, here escorting uh, Lady Nilla. Lady Nilla. He probably would have been in her entourage. That's just a few nights ago? Oh, yes. yes. Um, well, come in, come they in. May or may, they may have continued on. I'll bring you to the abbess and you can find out from her because I'm not sure. We get lots of knights and ladies coming here, coming okay. and going, staying, and, you know. Very well. You know. What's the name of the abbey again? Amesbury. 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 Got it. Thank you. So he escorts you three. He said he says to the to the squires, uh, feel free to it's it's coming on evening, I assume. The... May we request hospitality from the Lady Abbess? Yes. When you talk to the Abbess, I'm sure she will grant that to you because it's coming on night and we wouldn't want anyone out on the road without um without protection. Only if there's room for three <laughs> nights. I'm sure that they'll find room in the mail quarters for you. Um, so he tells your squires to that they can 
he points him in the direction of the stables and he takes you three to the to the um foyer of the abbey and tells one of the sisters that you have just arrived if she could please um bring the abbess so you're standing in this foyer and it's a church there right. and one side there's like two different sections there's a women's side and a men's side and there's lots of people around both um nuns regular ladies ladies in waiting there's some a priest there's some there's boys that stay on the boys side for, for various reasons they're all there the abbey is part of the church um and doesn't pay pay tribute to um the king or to um, Earl Roderick, but of course they do pay their taxes to the king or whoever is in charge at this particular time. Um, so you're waiting there. The abbess comes out. She greets you. She says, uh, hello, sirs. Um, my name is um, Lady Clotide. Um, and Welcome to the Abbey. What can I do for you? Uh, we come following uh, the Lady Nilla and her escort. Oh, yes, we, yes. Uh, we have uh, been sent by Sir Roderick to, to talk with uh, one of her escorts, uh, Sir Berenger. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Um, uh, Sir Berenger left... Uh, uh, sometime in the middle of the night last night, but Lady Nilla is here, and um, you are welcome to the hospitality of the Abbey um, for the evening, and I can get her for you, or you can um, see her at dinner. Uh, we shall wait for her at dinner and speak with her afterwards about uh, uh, Sir Berenger. Uh, okay. What did Sir Berger like? Was his departure rapid, or would you say that he knew that he would be leaving, or did you uh, have any information about where he was traveling on to? I do not have any information. Other than when I awoke this morning, they said that he requested the gates to be open in the middle of the night, and he left. Hmm. That is quite unusual. Travel by night. Yes, and he left his squire here. So I am not totally sure hmm. what's going on. Very good. Well, if you would like, I can speak with the squire and see if he might be forthcoming with me about any information he may have. Of course, of course. Um, this is Sister Jeanette, and she is going to show you to some rooms. Um, and you can avail yourself and get ready for our evening meal. And feel free to... to Ask questions of anybody you would like. Thank you so kindly, yeah, Abbas. So um, the sister shows you two rooms. Um, they're, you know, your typical Abbey rooms. A little hole in the wall with a little straw covered uh, or uh, straw covered with the, the blanket. Yes, uh, there's there. They're 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 pretty. They're nice. They're pretty nice. She showed you too. Spartan. They're Spartan, but they're clean and they have all the amenities that you might need. Um, she tells you that if you would like to take a bath, the men's bath is um, to the right down the hallway, and feel free. You have my and thanks, ladies. Sorry. You have my thanks. You're welcome. Uh, Lady Gina. She puts her hands back into her little into her little habit and goes back down the hallway. They're keeping those habits that they get their hands on all the time. So you have a couple hours to get ready and do whatever you want. Would you like to be accompanied, or do you think it would be best to, uh, for you to question the the young lad yourself, Sir Lathan? Oh, either way, it doesn't matter. I mean, I feel like, uh, given what um, 
the maid bride said to us that he may know some things. I can certainly try to put him at ease as much as I can. And uh, perhaps he will be forthcoming with information. Uh, I don't know how long he has been Beringer's flyer. I don't know if the, do either of you know if he's a local lad or did he come with Beringer when he came? Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. No. He came with Beringer when he came. Why would he leave his the choir behind? That is odd, but perhaps the choir will be informative. Would either of you like to come with? Yeah, sure. Good idea. I will come with you. Okay. Um, how old are squires typically? Uh, between, well, you can be squired between like, I don't know, not 10 and 14. Okay. 20. They go, and then they, they go, as, and then you're a squire until you become a knight. So it depends on when they started being a squire. A lot so of, is, a lot of, uh, squires become knights around 21. Yes. He's 16. Um, in in Pendragon, not necessarily right. in reality, but okay. So he's sixteen because he's two years older than Brian. Okay. So we will go find. Uh, as you are getting failed. ready to, as you're getting ready to leave your rooms, um, Daniel and um, Martin and uh, and William, I'll come with your bags, and they say, "Oh, all of the squires and gentlemen are are bathing." Um, can we go and um, would you like to go and take a bath to get ready for dinner? I believe that would be an excellent idea. Thank you. Yeah, good idea. William? So they get all your stuff, go to the bath, and down you go to the baths, and when you get there, it's like a, it looks like a Roman bath. You know, yeah. like, if you don't know what a Roman bath looks like, it's a big giant pool, and and there's like seats, well, sort of seats. You step down and you can sit in the pool. And most of the people, most of the, the people are washing off by standing outside, the, off, the, out, off to the sides of the pool with water and soap and cleaning themselves. And then they get into the bath and relax. All right. That's what we do here. Um... Does anybody here stand out as I would take a guess that that's Hutzelfeld? Um, you do see a couple um, different squire looking guys with long blonde hair and blue eyes. I'll ask William. Squire William, would you happen to know who uh, Squire Hutzelfeld is? And if not, could you find out for me? I believe uh, the maid bride would like to uh, have him become apprised of the amount of work that there may be to be done at Salisbury. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, he points, and um, do you want me to go get him? Um, you think that would be more? Yes, please. You know, if you, as, as he has time, I, this is but a social matter, so. So your squire goes off, gets him, and brings him back. Ah, Squire Hetzelfeld. I am uh, Ulathan Valian. Um, the maid, uh, I heard your name back at Salisbury uh, on the lips of the maid bride who commented on your uh, your looks and your uh, yourself. And Ask that I mention that there is much work to be done at Salisbury. <laughs> she's she's really pretty. Yes. Um, okay. She is. Uh, do you? If I should see her, do you have any? Would you like to me to convey anything in particular to her, or would you prefer that I uh, remain? I you know, but leave it where it lies, as it is. Oh, I, I I don't think you should say anything to her. She's she's very very forward, and I'm sure she'll tell me whatever it is she wants to tell me when I get back. Well, uh, uh, do you know? Um, um, are you going back to Salisbury to the castle? 
Uh, we will be going relatively soon. I think at this point, uh, we're not entirely sure when we're going to be going back. When do you think you'll be returning? I don't know. Um, Sir Berenger just left. He didn't tell me he was going anywhere. So um, I'm just staying here with Lady Nilla. Oh. I'm not sure what else I'm supposed to do. That must be kind of uncomfortable for you. How long have you been Sir Berenger's squire? Oh, about six months. He's my um, uncle by my mother's. My mother married his his brother. Your mother married his brother, and so you've become his squire. I see. And how is that working out for you? Uh, it's okay. Huh. Do you find it surprising? Do you feel like you're being treated as a squire should be treated? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it, please feel free to speak freely. Uh, that's fulfilled. I mean, we're in the baths, and we are just, you know, all men among in the in the bath at this point. Is there is there something that is weighing on you? I'm just wondering why he left without telling me. Mm. Usually, he tells me to get the horses. Was there no hints that he'd be leaving, or was it just? Did he just wake up in the middle of the night with the thought in his head, or do you think the fairies have come and taken him away? Maybe I don't know about fairies, but um, I, uh, yeah, he was gone when I woke up. When uh, he was back at the when you were when you were at Salisbury, did he give any hint that he'd be going on alone at some point, or did he, did his behavior change that you noticed? No, we he just said. To get the horses, we were going to escort Lady Nilla here to the Abbey. Hmm. Did he pack extra or did he? Because uh, I understand he had an audience with Lady Ellen when uh, she requested him to accompany Lady Nilla on her journey here to where she could undertake her contemplation, if you know what I mean. I guess. Um, I don't know. Do you tell your squire everything? He doesn't tell me much other than how to train and where to go. I'll look kind of side at my squire. I don't tell my squire everything, but I'm sure my squire sees more than I tell him, if you if you give my meaning. You take my meaning. Yes, yes, sir. Is there, you know, we were actually coming to speak with Sir Berenger, so we find it interesting that he would have gone on. Do you have any idea where he might have gone or the direction that he left in? Did you just wait to find him gone as the abbess says that she did? Yeah, I woke up and he was gone. I don't know if he was mumbling something about magic, but I don't know mm. what he was talking about. Did he leave any of his possessions or did he take all, everything with him? Because without you, I don't know how he would get along. Uh, his horse, he, he took his charger and uh, he, uh, he took his stuff. Um, yeah, like you're right. I don't know how he did it. I guess he put it on the horse himself. Huh. Has he ever done something like that? Left without you? Left you behind? No. He's always telling me to get the stuff and put it on the horse. And he may give you no indication that he was leaving or going somewhere. Or where he no. might be headed. Not to me. It's very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, did he leave anything behind? No. The squire. What does that mean? I'm not going to lie or lie, squire. I'm not going to lie or squire. Um, I'm a bit concerned. Uh, would you mind if we, I think it might be prudent if we took a look at his chambers. Oh, yes, I'll take you. That'd uh, be excellent. After you get out of the baths. Yeah, sure. let's go. Yeah, let's go. We'll towel off, you know, get dressed and make our way toward wherever he was staying. I'm sure he was just staying at a bunkhouse or something like that, right? Same thing we're doing. Yeah. Yeah, he was in the room next to Sir uh, Sir Duaye. Sir Duaye. What is he? Is he African? Is that what he is? It's a Simric uh, name. Well, Simric. Isn't it Kimric? Kimric, sure. Whatever. The hard K yeah, sounds. So, so you get there to the room, and uh, the squire opens the door. Uh, there's nothing in there but the squire's uh, bag and 
and that's it. Did you did you notice any? Did you notice him going, Hutzelfeld? No, I was asleep. I didn't hear him, and usually I hear him when he gets up. He's really loud. You would think that him getting up. I mean, he is not a young man, and and to get all his his items for travel, it would definitely would have made some noise. I don't know. I was asleep. I woke up late. I don't know what. I didn't feel good. I don't oh, know. You, you were sick. I don't think I was sick. I just didn't feel good this morning. I was really, really tired. I mm. slept like the dead. Mm. That's an interesting. What did you have for dinner um, last night, Hiltzfeld? The same stuff that, well, whatever they cooked for. You know, stew, bread. Does anybody else feel the same way? I don't know. I didn't ask anybody else. I just went to the abbess and told her he was gone, and I wasn't sure what to do. And she said to calm down. So what? What the? Uh, what uh, horses did he take? Oh, he his. took his charger and his um, and rode. I, I assume the way he usually does, rode his roundsy and uh. So his and... roundsy and his charger are missing. Yes. And seemingly he would, he would have to have saddled his horses by himself. Yes, he doesn't like to do that. Hmm. And yet he did. In the middle of the night, even. Hmm. How odd. Right. Um. It's becoming. It's looking more and more like that's the. Uh, there is some behavior that's out of the ordinary, at least with Sir Berenger and. I, I I don't know. Maybe you can find him. But I have a question. When you go back to Salisbury, can I go with you? Of course. Of course. Um, well, it depends. If we bring back Sir Berenger, then he would be he would be back under his tutelage. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll worry about that when we uh, find your 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 lord. Okay. Okay. It, okay. All right, well, thank you for everything you've told us. You've been very informative. Dr. Phil, you are the second best squire I know. Uh, do we know if they have, like, guards at the stables in the middle of the night, or? Yeah, who would he have asked for his horse the night? Would anybody have seen him saddling his horse and all that jazz? Uh, the, the guy that was at the gate, there's a guy like him at the stables that sleeps there. Yeah, and there's probably some stable boys that. Okay, so I'll go. I'll go to the stables and, and talk to them and chit chat with them. Since okay. I know a little bit about horses, I will talk about horses and and uh, what they use, what they feed horses, how they exercise them, how they brush, how they take care of their their hooves and their manes and stuff like that. Okay. So in uh, a way, in a way of butting up to them, and 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 then I say, well, I've heard that Sir Berenger saddled his own horse and left in the middle of the night. Did you guys see him leave or hear uh, him? John, the the lead stable guy, his name is John. John. He says, oh no, he he didn't saddle his own horse. He he woke me up and made a uh, oh made a. Uh, Gable over there, saddle it for, for him. Oh, that makes more sense. I just not and I kind of like, oh, okay. Well, the, the reason we sit, the was, reason we he was ridiculous. He was ridiculous leaving in the middle of the night. Oh, nope, leaves in the middle of the night. Oh, you should wait until morning and be sensible about it. But I couldn't tell him that he's no. a knight. Uh, would would you say that he was concerned or uh, something that would was he worried? I mean, it, explain to me his, what what you believe his his state of mind was to be in such a hurry. He looks at you oddly and says, "I I just take care of the horses and get them for people when they tell me to." Um, I, I, he seemed just as grumpy as he did 
when he came in, when I saw him the first time, and uh, Gable said something about, I don't know, who was going to the monument. I don't know what that means. So no. I, we just gave him the horse and and let him go on his fool's errand in the middle of the night. So uh, can we talk to Gable? Maybe he knows where this sure. monument is. Come here, boy. Yes? So there, Gable. Uh, fine work you've done here at working at the stables. Uh, we were wondering, uh, we had a, uh, well, you had to saddle uh, a knight's horse not too long ago, Sir Berenger. Uh, for some reason, he did not have his squire do that. And you did. Uh, did he say anything to you? We're trying to, we're trying to fight, figure out what happened. He has, he has not uh, returned and uh, we are looking for him. He was very odd. Uh, I put the saddle on. I got his stuff on his horse. Uh, he took his charger. You said uh, he was very odd? Yes, he just mumbling to himself about he had to meet somebody. Um, it was almost the half moon. I don't know what that means. And he was going to the ancient place. You know, the ancient place. The one right have, down the road. I have no idea what that is. I'm not from around here the standing stone oh there's some standing stones here uh, uh john says yes yes uh, the north of us it's it's john says it's called stonehenge the yeah. hinge of stones the stonehenge exactly <laughs> oh that's near here well actually it's down south i believe no look on the it's, map it's just right uh, there it, it's not we too far on the travel yeah, times map. Oh, here, let me, um, let me. Unless it's in properly placed. Um. Let's see. Um, Stonehenge is, is, on this map, it looks like it is, is to the, Going that way from um, Amsbury. Oh, but east or west the, of the Ams Amsbury. A little bit okay. lower, so it's between Sarum and Amsbury, off the, to the side. And uh, how long ago did he leave? Uh, he last... left in the middle of the night. Not last night, but the night before. No, last night. Oh, last night. Oh. It was. It was about three hours before dawn. So he was, he asked you to settle his horse. He was mumbling about the full moon, about meeting somewhere. No, 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 the half moon. Half moon. I don't know what the, what the difference is. Well, I know the difference. The half, only half instead of all. Yes, the half, half moon. He was going to meet somebody was and late. it was late and something about the old place. Yeah. Yeah. I told you. At the Stonehenge. So we got to get up there. But please don't go until tomorrow. It's going to be dark. Uh, it seemed very important for him to get there. So we might need to get there when he's there, don't you think? I, oh, I'm not there. If he's still there, maybe. Uh, this doesn't say he stayed there. Let's talk to uh, Dwyer. 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 The bells are, are ringing for uh, evening meal. Mm. Uh, we'll find a meeting, possibly. Is tonight the half moon or is tomorrow the half moon? I don't know. Uh, what about the abbess? We'll, talk, we'll ask we'll the, abbess. the abbess. Somebody should know this kind of thing. They know these kind of things. Okay. 
Uh, you want me to take you to where you're supposed to be for dinner? The Great yeah. Hall? Yes, please. So Gables goes in and takes you that way. We might as well eat before we ride. Uh, so, so you get to the to the hall. But we could also you... ask uh, Lady Nilla if maybe she might have some more information regarding Sir Berenger. He might have spoken or spoken his deeds or his future deeds to uh, her. So you get to the to the dinner hall, and um, the abbess sees you and says, "Oh, come over here, sirs, sir, sir Duaye. Is that how you how you say it? Duaye, yes." Baye, Sir Garen, Sir um, Lathan, Lathan? Lathan, Philly and Lathan. Philly and Lathan. Lathan. Sir, Sir Lathan is fine. I can't say it right, I can't hear it it's different. <laughs> Sir Lathan is fine. Okay. Uh, this is, is um, Lady Nilla. You were asking about her when you got here. Please oh. join us for dinner. Lady Nilla, how are you doing? Lady Nilla, at your service. <laughs> I am Sir Dwayne. Lady Nilla looks like she's very, very pretty. She's got long blonde hair down to her waist. It's tied back. Oh, I got blonde hair. Can I kiss her hand? Does she extend her uh, hand? Can, uh, yes, she does. I'll kiss uh, her hand. Okay. Kiss your hand. Uh, do you need to roll for that? Is it going to cause you lust or something? Maybe. He's a bad, bad knight. I am. He's getting distracted from our mission. He's very attractive to me. He's very attractive to you. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. He's very... uh, you, you're oh, so you're such beauty! I I can't believe my eyes. She's 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 she she smiles at you, and giggles and uh. Who and, is uh, this that he's making it Google eyes at? Sir Dwight, yeah, Sir Dwight, Dwight a Pitton Manor. Is it Lady Nilla or N Lady, Lady Nilla. Nilla? Okay. Lady Nilla. The abbot steps uh, in between you and says. <laughs> Lady Nilla has enough to contemplate right now. How are your estates this, doing, Sir Dwayne? I understand you've had a good year. Very good year. Does she already have three different suitors? <laughs> There's four. four. You're right. So do I see uh, Lady Nilla being really uh, pretty? No, do you? I don't know. Do I? She has that pretty? Saxon bl blonde hair. Oh God! This is <laughs> again. She's so Saxon. She's too Saxon for this. Too Saxon oh. for the okay, shirt. So, too Saxon uh, for the shirt. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Look so she's Saxon, it hurts. She's on the catwalk. Puts you all down, and you're sitting with Lady Nilla, the abbess, um, oh, a Lady couple Nilla. other, a couple other. Um, uh, ladies are sitting there too. How long have you been abbassing, Lady Nilla? How long have I been what? At abbey. the abbey. Oh, the, the abbess? In, oh, been in meditation. The She's only been here like a day. A couple of days. Need to be, no, oh, that's right. At, well, at the abbess. I mean, in meditation. Have you been here before? How did you know about this? Oh, the countess. I'll go to the meditations. Me. The countess sent me here to. I'm supposed to try to decide between three different proposals, and I'm just not sure what to do. So the mm. abbot has told me to to pray on it, and we will talk about it and discuss all the options. And mm. after a couple of weeks, I can I can make a decision and and maybe go back to my lady. Well, if you need a kind word, a, a good listening ear, I've often found Sir Dwyer here to be an excellent listening word ear for me. Oh, there you go. that's nice. I I will do what I can, if given the time. But we're on. Kind, we do have a, a task at hand. Oh, oh that's true. Maybe on the so way back, I shall come come by and visit again. 
you were all, always so focused and good about taking care of your duties and passionate about your pursuits. Why, yeah? These things are important. <laughs> okay. Serve our Lord. Oh, uh, your piousness, too. I didn't mention his piousness. So pious. Lord Roderick, that is. <laughs> he's like so pious. He's 3.14 pious. It's going to be hilarious in years. Okay, so... Uh, okay. I'm just listening so to this said, conversation. You said that... The abbess says... You said that um, you were here to speak to Lady Nilla about something. Well, we understand that her uh, your escort, Lady Nilla, Sir Berengar, left in the middle of the night. Which seems like kind of odd behavior. Do you or... Uh, do you, Abbas, have any you know knowledge of where he might be going, or like, did he say anything to you on the way here? Oh, to did me. Did he intimate at all? Um, he was very courteous, but he's kind of grumpy. Um, well, he didn't really talk to me too much, other than um, to you know escort me here and make sure I was comfortable. Um. And then after that, I didn't really see him after the meal last night. We understand that uh, you and he were in Lady Ellen's chambers when uh, she was trying to find a suitable escort for you on your journey here to the Abbey. Do you remember that day? Yes, yes. Um, how did that conversation go? Or how did he seem at that meeting? Um... He, well, to tell you the truth, um, but Lady Ellen was, had picked him because he didn't think I would like the way that he looked. Kind of true. But, um, <laughs> um, how was he? He was, he was very interested in, um, in Lady Ellen's amulet when she was, because he was telling me about the great power that it had to help her, that it was passed down to her, and I was admiring it, and, and he was admiring it, and she let him hold it, and he was he was asking her questions endlessly about the power it was and where it came from and all of these things. So she told him the story that it was passed down from grandmother to granddaughter and on and on, and I really wasn't listening. But, um, yeah... That's why she picked him, because I, I didn't find him, um, you know. She wasn't, wasn't worried about a fourth student at that time. Yes, yes. Ah. Uh, do you have any but inkling about what... kind of grumpy. Do you have any inkling about what direction you're leaning in? As far oh, as no. your students go? I, I, I don't know. I, 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 I'm not sure. Are you set on making a decision? Why is it so important that you make a decision at this time? From what I understand, you're well situated, and your family is well situated as it stands now. Uh, my father, he wants a, he wants an heir, you know, mm. he wants me to be married off, and you know, I, I have to pick. I can see where you're caught. You would probably be causing him no end of consternation with worrying about those things. Um, and how do you feel about it? Uh, I'm going to talk to the Abbey Abbess about it, and and we'll see. I I have to choose, and I don't have to choose out of those three, but I'll have to choose someone sooner or later. Do you hear that, Dwaya? She doesn't have to choose out of those three. Isn't that interesting? That just widens her choice. That must complicate things for you endlessly, Lady Nilla. I know it's so hard to choose these things. And I will say, in the few months that I've been at, in Salisbury, uh, Dwaya, he's quite a person to talk to. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, mm. Did you, uh, going back to that afternoon, when, when was the last time that you saw the ambulance? Berenger was holding it and admiring it in the light and asking questions to Lady Ellen. And um, 
I think I excused myself and thanked him for taking me and was Ooh. going to go prepare. Myself. Your manners are exquisite, if I can say so myself. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, all right, so thank you for your time. Uh, well, let me ask, uh, Lady Nilla, did Sir Berenger mention anything about uh, any kind of urgency that he had to be somewhere? Um, no, I told you this before, but... Because he did he leave in the middle of the night. Oh, like, he left quickly. in the middle of the night? Oh, yes. Uh, I, uh, yeah, he's... Uh, did yeah, he mention anything about that? that? Told me that. Um, no, I, I don't know. Uh, um, beforehand? No. He didn't say anything at dinner about leaving in the middle of the night. Did he seem anxious at all during dinner? Or did he behave oddly? Or out of out of character, if you will? No, he was grumpy the whole time I've known him. Hmm. Um, he didn't like to talk or, or answer any questions. From me, anyway. Not to rumor monger, but do you know of any reasons why he might be so grumpy? No. no. I don't know. Do I, as a character, know of any reason why he might be grumpy, or have I heard anything? Uh, you've heard... Lady Nilla doesn't know this, but you have heard that um, he feels like he is overlooked and should be higher ranking than he is already. Sure. And he's not a very... He's a competent knight, but not friendly in any way. So he's good. He's a good enough knight, but he doesn't do the social side of the knighting and he's like hang with the pros and all that stuff. Yeah. And, so, and he feels like he's jealous of those who have gotten above him because of that kind of a yes. situation. Okay, so he's trying to make himself immortal and get power. Okay. Ah, my friends. Lady Abbas, uh, can you tell us uh, when the next phase of the moon is? Oh, um, tomorrow night, it will be uh, halfway. Um, yes, yes. Uh, do you know what time of the night? What time of the night? Oh, uh, you would have to talk to Sister Julia about that. I, I, she's more of the exact science one. Um, I just look in the sky and see the moon. Okay. Very well. I think the stable voice said three hours before the sun was up when he left. Hmm. There's probably nobody awake at the castle or at the abbey at that point. All Is that right. a question, question or, a, or a comment? I'll make well, general conversation. Make his arrangement. That was just a statement to Sir Why? Why? I got it. Hey, you did. Better than me. Yep. Um... Uh, I'll just make just some chit chat. Uh, other than that. Um, okay. The abbess uh, excuses herself after the after the end of the meal and um, asks Lady Nilla if she could she if she can escort her back to her room. And she says yes, and they will go off. Thank you, gentlemen, for having dinner with us. Good. Okay. Thank you so much for your time and your attention and your company. It was very pleasurable. It was a pleasure dining with both of you. Very nice. It was good. <laughs> so, uh... Let's, uh, do we want to go in the middle of the night, like uh, Sir Latham seems to be intimating, or do we wait till morning? 
I think we need to be there at night because if he's going to do something with that amulet, magical. I mean, I don't know much about magic, but my understanding is if, some, if there's going to be some sort of a ritual, we may want to be there. I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, that's, to that's, that's tomorrow night, though. He mentions the moon. He says he's running late. I don't know. I'd say we can we could probably leave tonight. And well, it depends on how far it is. Oh, yeah. Let's ask somebody who knows. That's can the stable boy. The, can you tell on the map how far it is? Uh, can't be that far. It should be a measuring tool. This will tell you how far it is. Measuring tool. Well, I don't know about a measuring tool, but it's pretty close. It's like, I'm going to say if it's five miles to Sauron, or Sauron, to Sauron, um, then it's, it's probably, probably less than five miles. Yeah, it's about, probably about five miles to, to, uh, to uh, Stonehenge. I concur. What does okay. it say Stonehenge? It doesn't. Oh. It does. Right here. Oh, wow. It's right next to us. Okay. So, um... Are you gonna ask? Are you gonna ask any other questions of anybody else in the room, or are you just off to go get ready to? I think we're off. I can't think of anybody else here I want to talk to. So, but yeah, I don't think we have to stay. And if Latha makes a convincing argument that tonight would be a good night to go. If tonight is tonight, yeah, we can go tomorrow. That's fine. Do we just go by ourselves? Or well, we let's go? talk to Sister mm -hmm. Julia and see if tonight is the actual night or tomorrow's the, the actual half moon night. Let's get a a, a confirmation. I'll let you Fair ask enough. that question. Okay, I'll yeah. ask for Lady Julia to. Uh, uh, discuss with her about the, the 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 stars and the moon. Oh, oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Sister Julia is in the um, apothecary. It's just down the hall. You'll smell it before you get to it. Um, that's where she is. She's probably writing or or something. Um, yeah. Okay. Right that way. Yes. Thank you. I go off in the direction and ask along the way if I don't know where I'm going. Until I finally come to Lady Julia's uh, apothecary. Um, okay. Do you knock on the door? Yes. It opens when you knock on it. Um, Lady... You see, uh, you see a, a, a person, um, a nun, sitting there and like mixing something and writing down stuff on a piece of paper. And... Okay. Uh, I'm looking for Lady Julia. Oh, uh, yeah. Hi. Or Sister Julia, I mean. What can I do for you? Uh, I you? wish to ask a question about the, the moon and its yeah. stage. It's oh. time. Is, is tonight or tomorrow night the the more exacting night of its half uh, half uh, stage. Yes, yes. Tomorrow night will be um, yes. It'll start to wane after tomorrow night. So yes, tomorrow evening when right after the sun sets, I would say. Um, yeah, yeah. It's a it's a September moon. Oh, no, 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 that's next month. It's an August moon, so, yeah. I would say right after sunset. And if you go up on, if you climb up on top of the building, you can probably see it the best. Um, I usually go 
usually when it's going to be a full moon or right before it's going to be a new moon because that's when there's just a little crescent and it's pretty cool from the top of the building. Did you want to go up there tomorrow night to look at it or did you have another question? No, no. We plan to meet uh, another night at the, at, at the monument, the, the Standing Stones. Uh, oh, oh at yes, the new moon. yes. Or at the, oh. the mid-moon. Yes, uh, 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 Sir Beringer, he was asking me the same question. Why is there oh, something he was. special going on? He seemed to think should so. I, should, uh, I, should I ask the abbess if I can go? Is it going to be a... It, could we draw pictures or is it going to be a, a is it going to look different coming into the stones uh no apparently it's it's of a pagan nature oh i don't oh, think oh, she oh. would allow you that you to go for something like that oh okay um yeah um well yeah. from a purely scientific standpoint uh sister would you be interested in going? I could oh. probably, you know, we could put in a word with the abbess and say that it would be a matter of your research and your looking into the mysteries of the universe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she probably won't let me go after the last time. I wanted to see what it looked like at the, when the, right when the, you know, on the, the solstice. Uh, I wanted to see why they built it, but uh, then I went and she wasn't happy. Um, did did, any, you know, what happened? did anything occur when you were there? Uh, at the solstice? Uh, yeah, well, we, me and, uh, and three other nuns, and, you know, we took some of the men that were here, and um, it was interesting. Uh, when, when the light comes through at a certain angle, you can see it, like, illuminates everything there. Mm -hmm. yeah, at the, the solstice that's that was at summer solstice and and then we're we're past that so i don't know what it would look like with a half moon um but since two people have asked me about it maybe i should go and see i've heard a rumor that there's a sorcerer perhaps who resides in the area have you heard anything of that oh um well sorcerer or a wise I, man or something else up there? Oh, uh, no. I never met anybody that was a sorcerer. Oh, okay. I'm sure I'm sure I'm remembering it correctly then. Yeah, well, if you're going to go, uh, maybe me and Sister Wilhelmina could come. Sure, Let's I not... love your company. Okay. Well, you'll ask Abbott tomorrow? He goes tomorrow afternoon. I will speak with the abbess first thing in the morning. Okay. Yes, I am. I better. I'll I'll go and get the I'll chart later. so we can see what's going to happen. Yeah, get the chart. She walks away to her books. Very good. All right. She she might be useful and have some information once we arrive there. So I think it might be a good idea to take her along. I would not be against it. That is uh, for her superior to decide. Yes, perhaps uh, Lady Nila could come along as a. Uh, what do you call it? As a, a responsible person, suggesting. What do they call the person who goes along to make chaperone? sure they're a, a chaperone? Lady Nilla could come along as a chaperone. Uh, I think Lady Nilla needs their own chaperone, and as she's in what do they call it uh, in in been cloistered. Yes, yeah, she's cloistered. <laughs> until she makes a decision. Travel, fresh air could help. I know, that's all good. Are you awake, Sir Garen? Yep, I am. Uh, it is coming up on 10 o'clock, so uh, yeah. how late do we want to go? 
That's what I, I was going to ask you guys. This would be a good place to stop. Okay. If, because it, if you guys want to. Yep. Uh, it'll actually give me a chance to read through. I just you know, looked on my bookshelf and I realized that I have the, uh, the book. Ah. <laughs> How are you liking it? Did you say you're already liking it? I am already liking it, but how are you all liking it? Uh, I, well, I've always liked Pendragon. Yeah. Huh. I think it's cool. I have oodles of Pendragon stuff. You have, you have the you have the book. I don't have the newest ones. Oh, no, no, I'm asking. That. Oh. We can hardly hear you, Saul. Oh, he has the. Oh, he has 5.2. Where'd you get that? This is the one. You you. Oh, you got it from me? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I was wondering. I was just telling Jolene that I couldn't find my Pendragon 5.2 book, but I had. Because you gave it away. Jolene yeah, has it. it. 5.2. Well, <laughs> yeah, 5.2. That's, that's the latest until 6th edition comes out. You and told then me I had that, a... but then on the shelf there was one that was wrapped up, and I said, "Yeah, still plastic." <laughs> oh, so you, you, oh, you didn't. You took their shrink wrap off of it. Well, I yeah, did. We, 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 I, I, we had to read it. Yeah, it was considered new. All right. I asked before I took it off. Yes, yes, she asked. Well, thanks for starting this. I can see us playing this for a long time, Julie. So thanks for running the game. Because um, I understand if there, there are people who've been running this like 20 years. Oh, easy. And I've been looking for a more extended game to play, so I'm going to go and read this one so that we can oh. keep going on it. Well, yeah, this is considered a generation game. Yes. Right? If your character yeah, you, dies, you play another character in the, in the, in the, in the same family. generation. Yeah, in the same family. There you go. The battle, the battle looks pretty uh, vicious, but yeah. There's a battle? No. I said... When you're in battle, oh, yeah. I was oh, reading the. Oh what yeah, happened. yeah. He didn't pull any punches when it came to lethality. Well, that's we yeah. played. Well, we played with uh, uh, Chris and um, Zip. I don't know if uh, um, Don was playing. Chris Brown. Oh, you yeah, don't remember? Yeah, yeah, it, it kind of ended when he got skewered by a, by a critical hit from a spear. Who did? Chris character. Oh yeah, yeah. Is Ethel Sir Ethelred? <laughs> and he was like yeah. shocked, to the, you know, because he was trying to like make an escape. He. I forgot. I forgot the concept of the, the situation, but I remember him him dying with one shot. Well, he was surrounded by like five bandits or whatever, um, or bad guys, and and one of them just got a lucky strike. Just yeah, he had no armor on and just went down. Oh, he didn't have any armor. Yeah, armor is definitely a must in this game. So, oh, but he went down like a sack of potatoes. I think we stopped after that. Yeah, oh, I don't remember sack of meat potatoes. Yeah, I, remember, I still have I the characters that. here. I still have my character, yeah. So, but uh, yeah, that went on for a few, few sessions. Yeah, yeah, you were running it. We we, we went into that camp of uh, of uh, Saxons or barbarians, and we were thrashing them. Yes, we were on horse. They camp. they rescued some maidens. Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's good. Good stuff. Can't right. wait. I'm going to be looking for stones and swords. So, thank you, Jolene. Oh. This looks like it's going to be a good time. Um, yes, thank you, Jolene. Of course. If you don't want to continue on, I'm sure Felipe will. <laughs>